ultrasonic waves to track how high the water has gotten and how quickly it's rising. Officials say these sensors will be a valuable tool during heavy rain like we had today. This is an innovation in itself to say like this is it. Like this is all you need. We could People say the sensors will unlock a new understanding of stormwater flooding in New Orleans. I keep trying to not geek out about just how cool the technology is. The plan right now is to install 20 stormwater sensors citywide, with the first already up in Algiers. Once all sensors are installed, city agencies will have access to real-time data on floodwater levels in those areas. Verizon is funding this complete project. Michael Williamson is president of United Way of Southeast Louisiana. We all know where it floods in New Orleans, but exactly when and how much and how, how much time do I have? Like that's going to be like an amazing you know, tool and resource for our families throughout New Orleans. And we're talking about enhancing the city's ability to respond to flooding. Brandon Wong is CEO of the tech startup HiFi. HiFi, with the help of funding from Verizon, is producing the sensors. Once installed, they use ultrasonic sound waves, which bounce off the water below. The data is transmitted then through Verizon's cell network. When it comes to flash flooding, there is a lack of access to data for folks to be able to respond and understand where neighborhoods are flooded, for stormwater managers to see where infrastructure may need to be improved. Wong says the long-term goal is to make the data more accessible for the public through platforms like NOLA Ready and apps like Maps. Really exciting things that we're seeing here with the possibilities of where this technology can go and how it can um, become a positive asset for the communities and, and its residents. And there are two community workshops coming up on August 8th to demonstrate the tech. One at United Way's Prosperity Center on Canal, that's at noon. And one at United Way's Prosperity Center in New Orleans East, and that's at 5 p.m. John.